What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today we wanna to talk about two apps that are pretty much necessary to have on your Fire TV Stick. Um, these apps are gonna help you actually optimize the Fire TV Stick, help you to get some of those junk files off of there, and help you speed it up, all right? So um, they're very useful for helping you to reduce the times um, when you actually come across a movie or a TV show when you have a lot of buffering. So these apps are gonna help with that. They're gonna help with you downloading um, different apps as well, and they're also gonna help uh, with any type of streaming capabilities that you're looking to have. Um, so these apps are definitely necessary to have in Fire TV Stick, especially uh, if you plan on using Kodi or if you're using apps that require a lot of streaming and buffering, you're gonna definitely wanna have these on there because you're gonna need to clear out a couple of things to make sure that your Fire Stick is capable of handling everything that you throw out, all right? So the two apps we're gonna look at is the first one is gonna be called uh, Clean Master. It's been around for quite some time. And then the other one's gonna be called DBTV Assistant, uh, which is another app that is very, very useful for clearing out junk files, clearing up catch, and it's helping you to fully uh, speed up your Fire TV stick to perform um, the way you would want it to perform. I mean, everything I go over so far on my channel when it has to deal with a Fire Stick, I talk about things working, but in order for things to work, efficiently and effectively, you gotta actually have uh, some things, uh, some apps out there that can actually help you to clear up your system so that it will work accordingly, all right? So we're gonna dive right into this and we're gonna start off with Clean Master. Now this version of Clean Master is a modded version. Um, so it's actually designed for the Fire TV Stick 4K um, and it works pretty good. And you know my line, if it works, I'm downloading it, I'm using it. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys because it simply works and it works well with the Fire TV Stick 4K. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the app. Then once the app loads up, you're gonna notice the window is a little bit smaller than any other app that you may have on the Fire TV Stick. Um, that is because this app is a modded version and it is a version that can be used on a mobile device. So it's not gonna give you that full screen window. Um, the reason why this app is modded is because it actually um, can be used on a Fire TV Stick 4K and then the actual parameters within the app and the, and the programming behind the app will actually work well with Amazon's root system, which allow you to kind of get in there and clear out some things that are found in um, the storage of your device. There's some other apps out there that are capable of doing the same things, but I found that there's a lot of um, discrepancies and errors when it comes to actually running the app because I've run several of them um, a couple of times and I noticed that the catch didn't change at all. All right, so with this app, you're gonna have to use mouse toggle. And when you're gonna use mouse toggle, you just hit the play pause button. If you don't have it, definitely check out my video in the description on how to get your Fire Stick set up the right way. Um, but once you already uh, invoke mouse toggle, you're gonna go up to the top right corner. There's like a little section there next to the X, like a little symbol there. You'll click on that and it's gonna going to expand the screen to full screen. Now what you're looking at here is the Clean Master dashboard. Uh, it's gonna show um, how much storage you have available. But the only thing I'm gonna focus on here with this Clean Master app is the junk files icon, all right? So all you're gonna do is click on the junk files icon and all the app's gonna do is gonna go through your entire Fire Stick and it's gonna find everything that is related to junk files. So anything that it deems not necessary to have on your Fire TV Stick, it's gonna pull it, compile it, and then it's gonna give you the option to clean it or delete it, all right? So once you've gone through that, you're gonna go ahead and click the green button, clean junk, and then you're gonna watch all of the junk go right away, all right? and then it's done, all right? So what I like to do is after I run that, I like to kick, click on the junk files again, just to make sure that it's clean. And if it says clean just now, that means you are good to go. You're done with this app. You can go ahead and exit out and you can go ahead and move on to the next one, all right? So that's all that's pretty much it for that one. So let's go on to the next one. And now this one's called DBTV Assistant. Um, it's very similar to the Clean Master. Um, this one actually will work on any Fire TV device. Um, the one that I just showed you, the Clean Master, is actually modded for the Fire TV Stick 4K because the 4K Fire TV Stick so far has been the hardest one to actually clear off for whatever reason. Um, so. Definitely keep that in mind. And I have it labeled in my um, filing store as well. So you don't have to worry about like clicking it and not working. So I just wanna warn you ahead of time that if you try to download it on an older Fire TV stick, it probably won't download, okay? So here it is. This is DB TV Assistant. Uh, this one's really cool. This one doesn't require mouse toggle. You actually can just use the remote right off the bat. And then you're just gonna click start and then watch it do its work. 
in this one, I like to use second because I like to go back and just see if there's anything else I haven't gotten. And then so once you see that 99% right there, that means that everything is clear. Your Fire TV stick is good to go. Now at the bottom, there's some other tabs there that you can actually use as well. Um, and the first one is going to be uninstall. And so what the cool thing about this one is that it's going to pull all the apps that are on your Fire TV stick. And it's going to give you the option um, to actually uninstall those apps. But the cool thing about it is that when it uninstalls it, it un uninstalls everything that goes along with the app. I don't know, a lot of times you'll uninstall an app on an Amazon Fire TV stick and there's still remnants of the app are there and it still bogs down your Fire TV stick. So what this app does is actually, it takes everything with it. So if I were to uninstall any of these apps here, anything that's related to the app, any folders or duplicate folders go along with the app as well. So that's really, really good. So I definitely recommend like if you want to uninstall something or if you don't like a particular app you've downloaded, I would do it this way. Um, the next thing is you can do a network test. You can see how well your network's working with your Fire TV stick, which is really cool. This is all free. It's right within the app. Um, and it'll run a network test to show you how fast your internet is. Um, again, I don't have the fastest, but my network's pretty good for what I want it to do. I mean, so, and the second thing, the last thing you can actually do is you can actually look at the scope of your device and see where your device ranks, how well it's performing. And it kind of just gives you some of the basic things for your device info. Now, the last part is the auto run killer, which you will not be able to use because the Fire TV Stick 4K is not rootable yet. And if it is, I would like you guys to let me know so I can definitely check that out. But as of right now, I have not found a way to root the device. So I don't have permissions to go in there and kind of dictate what um, apps will run once I start my Fire TV stick. But that's about it, guys. I mean, those are my apps that I use um, time and time again. So like maybe every two to three days, I may actually um, run those two apps just to kind of clear things out. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I just want to show you guys those two great apps. They're in my filing store. So um, you can definitely check in my description for the code to get to my filing store and download these apps right away. Again, the only one that does not work on the uh, any other Fire TV device is the Clean Master because it's modded for the Fire TV Stick 4K. Everything else works just fine. Um, so definitely go ahead and get it. And uh, again, guys, I thank you guys for tuning in and watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me to grow this thing into something big. Uh, comment below. If there's any other questions you have or if this worked great for you, let me know in the comment section below. Also, check my descriptions, guys. I have all my other videos listed there. So if you missed a video from last time or if you're just now getting into this fire stick thing, um, definitely check out my beginner's video on how to just set it up the right way um, before you get started with all the other videos that I posted there. But again, guys, I do, this, I do all of this for you guys. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.